You are listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. Man, we are here once again, and you know what time it is. It is Tuesday, so I'm here with my mentor, Pastor Kevin. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. How you doing, my brother? I'm doing real good. Today's topic awesome. for tonight. Are you hungry for the right thing? Question mark. Yikes. And man, yikes is correct because this scripture, uh, Proverbs 20, verses 4, those too lazy to plow in the right season will have no food at the harvest. Man, I mean, you talking about direct and clear and no question marks in that no <laughs> scripture. Question. Too lazy. All right, so we was talking in the green room. So the yeah. word plow and two, I want to focus on those real quick. So two with two O's. Dictionary says to a higher degree than is desirable. Right. Stop right there. So I'm getting from that is if God's saying you being too lazy. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you ain't doing enough. You're not, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, Right. And then the the word plow, I was looking at that, and it, it talks about uh, in the dictionary, it's it's something to do with the soil. So right. you're 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 get you're getting the soil ready. You're preparing it for planting of seeds. Mm. So we go back to Proverbs verses four: too lazy to plow mm. in the right season. Those too lazy to plow in the right season will have no food at the harvest. So I'm going to throw that to you first, and I'm going to chime in. When you read that, what are you getting from that verse right there? What I get from the verse, Brother Shammai, is that, and for those listening, it, it says those too lazy to plow in the right season will, will have no food at the harvest. So it's saying there's going to be a harvest, but some people, they have a harvest of poverty and not a harvest of plenty. Because the seeds that they have sold have been seeds of poverty. You know, everybody wants to be rich. Everybody wants to be famous, but they're not putting the work in to do it. And so you got this plow. A plow has to be used by multiple animals or multiple people because it takes more than one person to till. It takes more than one person to lay seed, but you're too lazy, meaning that uh, some translations say a sluggard, a slacker. You're 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 a slacker, and you know the old saying says Shemai that n- nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream. Mm, dang, that that was good right there. <laughs> that was good because uh, some of us are dreaming all day, and some of us are dreaming after we actually did the work. <laughs> and real quick, off the fly, I'm gonna look up the word lazy because that just really got me yeah. right. Here. Let me look up the meaning of lazy. Okay, unwilling to work or use energy. <laughs> now, I think. I'm, disclaimer, I'm not no, you know, certified coach or doctor or whatever you will, but just a regular person, average Joe talking. We all have our lazy moments after we had like a long week at work or oh, yeah. we just finished doing this or doing that. But I feel like what the Bible is talking about is a person who is unwilling to even try let alone they understand what they need to do in life, right? So we take away the whole idea of, like, making more money. Like, who doesn't want to make more money, right? But if it's just simply making progress with your life, right? Right. Growing, maturing, getting better. People should be able to look and see, okay, he started here, but... Now I see that growth. So what I'm trying to get at is if you're unwilling to work or use your energy right. to better yourself. Because, mm. you know, you always hear all this stuff like, you know, you can't work, you know, for your salvation. Or I'm not talking about none of that, man. I'm not talking about that. 
you know, God's not telling us to go to sleep until he comes back. You know, I think he wants us to be active, right? Uh, yeah, I think he right. wants us to, you know, get out there and do our careers and do our jobs, but do it for the right reasons, right? You're do it right. for a higher calling. Mm. But I think we can get that confused. What do you think about that? Man, and you said something positive and powerful because some people are so heavenly minded. They're no earthly good. They're so stuck on being uh, in 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 another realm, but the thing about it, you got the word existing and you got the word living. Some people are just existing. They're not living. And then I like another proverb. It says, lazy hands make for poverty, but, but diligent hands make for wealth. So it's like, if you're slacking and the plow, what is your plow? What, what has God given you to pull? Ooh. Think about that. Go ahead, brother. Talk about Man, it. Man, you said something <laughs> very interesting because something that just came to mind is what if God is also saying, what if you're lazy and doing the right things? Wow. Oh man! You see what I'm saying, and that oh, just hit me because I'm guilty. I'm first. I'm first one too. to put my hand in the air, waving, I'm right behind, you. waving. <laughs> <laughs> what if he's also that? He, he's going deeper. He's also saying, "What if you're just lazy and doing the right things?" Doing the right things. Wow. Because I heard, you know, listen to other podcasts and all these gurus and whatever. You know, people talk about it's not smart to just be busy. No. You can't just be busy. You, no, you have to be sure. very right. strategic in what you're trying to do, especially if you're trying to, you know, grow in your career or grow in your business or just grow as a mm-hmm. person. You can't just be busy, busy body mm-hmm. because that's just as bad as being lazy. It really is. Because that's the kicker. Are you too lazy in the right things? Mm. Maybe, maybe God's trying to show you something. And he's like, all right, I need you to do this. And we're like, oh, I ain't got time for that, man. I'm, I'm unwilling to <laughs> make a move. I'm unwilling to follow your league. I'm unwilling to listen man. and to move. Maybe that's another, another way of being lazy. I think you're right. What do you think about that? Man, I, I really think you're right because, like you say, when you're busy, you're not getting anything accomplished because you're not focused on anything. You you are a jack of all or trades. Or the wrong things, too. Yeah, and the wrong things. A jack of all trades, but a master of none. Meaning you're doing all these things, but what is it accomplishing? And then you want to do the wrong thing quick. You jump to going to party. You jump to going to do this. And that's yep. cool. But what are you doing? For God. With, yeah, for God. And what are you doing with your plow? Everybody has a plow. Man, Everybody you just gave me a visual. Field, you know, <laughs> and, 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 and it's like God has given us this, this land, yeah. and we got this plow. What are we doing with the land God gave us because mm. it's fertile? Go ahead. You just hit someone there, man. Like, I'm also seeing and, and, and I'm, I'm just coming to my, my head like 100 miles per hour. Uh-huh. It's like God gave you this life. I just said this like this week on the show. You know, your life is a blank canvas. Your mm-hmm. give is a paint, but your action is the mark you leave on history. Wow. <laughs> what if God is saying, you know, your life, what, what just metaphorically, God is saying your life is like a field, right? Right. Maybe soil, I don't know. But just, just stick with me on this. And what you're doing throughout your lifetime that he's given that he's giving you, the dash, right? They say the dash is the most important. It's not That's the right. day you're born, the day you die, but it's, it's the dash. What you're doing in That's that right. dash? In what if your life is the field, the soil, and your everyday action, right, is you working that plow? Yeah. And if you're unwilling, right, to to work that life that he's giving you. And then at the end, he asks, so what did you do? What did you do? What did you do with the life I've given you? I gave you air in your lungs. I opened up your eyes every morning. Yeah. But did you get up and plow? Did you get up and work your life? Or did you say, I'm unwilling? Wow. I'm unwilling to live. 
the life that you've given me, I'm, un, I'm unwilling to live it. And I feel, to be careful here, I'm not saying that you got to outwork every single person, you know, right. be that type of person. I'm just saying, are you doing, are you doing what God wants for you? Because we even look at Christians and think, man, maybe I should be like, like them and, and compare myself to their life and their ministry and whatever, whatever. And that guy's like, no, 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 no. I'm not asking you to, to plow and be in everyone's field. I just want you in your field. You see what I'm saying? Like we, we get so busy body that we want to work on everybody else's field. And then we neglect our own life. Mm. Mm. And I feel like if I go back <laughs> to that scripture, Proverbs 20, verses 4, those too lazy to plow in the right season will have no food at the harvest. No food. The key, I'm going to wrap this up, but the key in the right season. That tells me, without being <laughs> deep and just being simple, because that's what we're trying to do yeah, with, right. with this it's whole conversation. Simple. He's saying it's not next season. I'm talking about now. Now, right and I now. feel like whoever's listening to this, you know, you've been putting things off. You know, God's been trying to budge you, uh, yeah. you know, to do this and do that, make a move. And you're like, oh, I'll just do it when I, when I feel better or, you know, I'll just do it when the time is right. No, he saying right now. Huh. The right season is right now. Season. So if you're too lazy right now, you might just miss the opportunity of a lifetime. Oh, that's heavy. Because <sighs> the window is not as open as you think it is. Yeah, because he says the right season. He didn't say when you feel like it. The right season. <laughs> the right season. He didn't say when you, when, you, you, when you tell me what time it is. No, God doesn't work on your time. He doesn't work on your watch. He doesn't check your calendar there and say, hey, no. Shemaiah, can you fit me in your schedule? No, he don't do that. You have to fit in God's schedule. Yes, you do. And without going too deep in this topic, you go circle back to the topic. Are you hungry for the right thing? I'm going to put it this way, because this is so awesome how it just kind of unfolds. Are you hungry for God? Wow. That's what I'm going to leave y'all with. Are you really hungry for God? Because if you're really hungry for God, you're not going to be too lazy to, to talk to him. You're not going to be too lazy Amen. to pick up the Bible and read something. And when I say lazy, I'm not talking about you got to be some crazy scholar, so detailed, and you reading the Bible 24 hours a day. I'm not talking about that. You know, that, that's busybody. I'm just simple in talking about being strategic with a personal relationship. So are you hungry for the right thing? Are you hungry for God? Are you hungry for the world? See, the world can give you a lot of things to eat. Yeah. But you're going to have an upset stomach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to let you wrap this up, Pastor, uh, Pastor Kevin. Man, I just, I just think, man, thank you, man. This is a powerful message. And for somebody who's listening today, just, just understand that God has given you the talents. He's given you the ability. But you got to work what God has given you. It, it won't work if you don't work it. If, if you don't push yourself, nobody else will. And then you have to understand that seasons change. And when the season changes, what are you going to do? Don't, <clears throat> don't be lazy. Don't be frustrated because you think it's not your season, but it is your season. But get up, get out, and get to work and let God receive the glory for your life. And the last thing I'll say to what you just said there is... Imagine what God will do the moment you start moving. Man. Just imagine that. I want y'all to really think about that. Imagine what God will do, the resources he will start giving you, mm -hmm. the, the people that he will start bringing to your life. Because when God is in it, it just grows. Right. 
You see what I'm saying? So imagine that pitching, pitching down your head. When, when God is in it, it will grow because it doesn't. Have, it, it's not force. You see, it's only force when He's not in it. That's right. Because if God's not in it, it can't grow. And if God's not in it, it's probably not alive. <laughs> if it's not alive, how much dead weight have we been carrying for all these years? Wow. Wow. And he's like, yo, if you just drop the dead weight, I can give you new life wow. in this dream that you have, in this new goal that you have. I can really take you places that you never thought you could even make happen. That's right. But the key is we don't make it happen. God makes it happen. That's right. So what are you hungry for? Are you hungry for the right thing? Think about that. Like we say on this show, I'm focused radio. We say keep God first, stay focused in peace for a reason. It's because if you keep him first, he will never, never put you last. And if you stay focused, it's hard to hit the dead end. <laughs> yes, sir. And with all that, you have peace because only he can give that. Yes, sir. Only him. If he is not in it, there's nothing nothing that will work in your life. And I know I probably want to step on a lot of toes. Step on them, man. But it is what it is. And I hope whoever hears this, not only are you inspired, but you understand the concept of what we're trying to do with these conversations. It's just very simple. It's to the point. And it's to remind you that you are here for a reason. Yes, sir. And you do have a purpose. And you can find your way in this life. You don't need to worry about being famous. You don't need to be worrying about trying to be like someone else, comparing uh -huh. your life to everybody else. You just need to <laughs> say, hey, God, I need you to show me. Wow. And as you do that, now you take your eyes off of the wrong things. And you put your eyes right. in the right way. Thing. Oh, and then he will make everything That's right. work together for your good. <laughs> and with that said, I hope you have a great night. Before we close and sign off, I uh, have to make sure I give you the opportunity. How can people uh, support you, Pastor Green, and your wife, Brenda White Green? All right. Thank you. You can go to our website, www recovering your harvest of grace and we look forward to uh, hearing from you if you want prayer if you just want, want to speak with us we appreciate it and, and remember keep plowing once again thank y'all for listening and man I'm Focus Radio we are out have a good night